Hello, how are you doing? Look, today we're going to make this uh, tikka. This is made with uh, black lemon or black lime. I'm using beef. You can use lamb if you want. Some people use lamb, but I'm going with beef. Very famous in Bahrain. Very, very famous, in fact, in Bahrain. It's known as Bahraini tikka. Originally, it's from Iran, I think. Welcome back to How to Cook Week. So I've got some fabulous beef here. Really, really nice cut. And what I've done is I've cut it into kind of small pieces like so. And on that side is the fat. The fat that come off of the outer there you can see so i've cut that off and cubed that as well because this is really important for what we're going to be doing today it's really simple this but delicious so i've got like three cups there in total of this beef and you can see i've cut it into this kind of this kind of sort of size you see that there nice little cubes you want it kind of quite small and then we've got the fat which i've cut in about the same size now, this is really important because when it goes on the skewers you need that fat, it's a really big thing. Now what we're gonna do is add some salt and pepper. For this amount, I've got just over a teaspoon each. I've got some lemon or lime juice, it's up to you. I've got about three tablespoons there. About a quarter cup of olive oil. Try and use a nice quality oil. And then we've got our black lemon powder, which is a wonderful thing. It's the big, big flavor in this, of course. And we're just going to get that all in there. What we're going to do is give that a mix up. Some people would put a bit of garlic in this or something like that. I think it's unnecessary, but that's up to you. We're going to mix this up we'll back in a moment. So I'll just show you the uh, black lemon or black lime powder, uh, which is right in there. Or you can get it whole. This is it whole here. It's literally a dried lime or lemon. So that's the powder form of that. That's probably going to be easier for you to get, depends on where you live. Now, uh, these whole, what you can do with them if you're making like kabso or bush or something like that, you can pop them in the rice while you're cooking. It gives a really beautiful, beautiful flavor. But there you go, that's black lime. So if you could leave this covered, you know, with some shrink wrap, plastic wrap, cling film, whatever you call that, in the fridge for at least two to three hours overnight, fabulous you're going to get a really beautiful flavor. What we're going to do is we're simply just going to put it onto some metal skewers and we're going to barbecue it. The, the technique here is with the fat is you put like three or four pieces of meat, one piece of fat. It, it depends up to you, but you know, a little bit of fat in there really helps it cook along beautifully. Okay, so you're going to need some metal skewers, but this metal skewer that we're looking at now is not what we want. This is more, you know, just for kind of regular kind of kebab. What we want are these guys. They're very sturdy, they're thin. If you can get those, that's gonna work better. So you can see that I've placed that on the skewers. Now don't put it on too tight, and you can see like one, two, three, four, bit of fat. One, two, three, bit of fat. The fat in there is really, really gonna help this cook beautifully. Ready for the charcoal now. Okay, there you go, absolutely delicious. I mean, that really is wonderful, wonderful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful, tender. Cook it nice and small like that. You can do it smaller even if you want. And it's the fat in between that makes the big difference. Hope you enjoy that, keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon, lots of love. Thank you so much for stopping by and making it to the end of the videos. If you would like to donate to me, there's a thanks button in most countries. You can give me $2 or up to $50. I need to buy a new Ferrari. Come on, help me out.